legs begin in Shavasana. So in Shavasana, you're lying flat on the ground, feet are falling by the sides, palms are facing up, and gently just start welcoming yourself into the space by taking a few deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Three more of those on your own. Welcome back to the channel. Please feel free to click like, click share, subscribe just to get new um, alerts as soon as new videos are up and running. Take your last deep breath in and out. Gently bring your feet together and then bring your hands by your sides and lift yourself up into sitting with the help of your elbows. Okay. Adjust your sitting bones just to bring some grounding onto them by pushing the flesh out. And then bring your forms down and then gently relax, recline towards the back. Feet are together. And then with an inhale, I want you to just puff up your chest. And then as you exhale, see whether you can bring the crown of your head to the floor or the mat. Okay? So your spine will end up arching. Your Forearms, you know, they could either your palms ideally should be facing down, but this is just the first demonstration. And then stay here and breathe normally once you find your ground. So this is um, the first idea of fish pose. So in fish pose, you're trying to open your chest, but ideally one of the uh, key benefits of this posture is that it opens the throat. And then you lift your head up and gently bring yourself down. So fish pose ideally, traditionally, it's done with the feet in either full lotus or half lotus position, just where I'm doing. And then you arch your back and then you bring your chest down. Or better yet, one of the most popular um, you know, versions that we do fish pose in is you bring your palms under your bum, your buttocks. And then with the palms facing down, you see whether you're able to lift your chest up and then bring the crown of your head down to the mat. So these are like the most popular variations. So, but because lotus is not so available for many people, this is perfectly fine. Just doing it with your feet straightened and then just make sure that your feet are down the entire time. Um, another key aspect is that, you know, uh, you make sure that you're pressing, you know, the feet down. Another very important uh, aspect is the head. How do you bring your head down? Remember, you're using the strength from the elbows, the shoulders, the back and the neck to support the head. You're not pressing the head firmly on the mat. If that is a bit too much for you, feel free to get a block and then bring the block somewhere towards the upper back and then see whether you can recline and then use the uh, block for support. Or better yet, if the block, um, if the back is fine, you can use the same block just to bring the floor um, closer to the head. And then once you arch your back, you're able to recline um, and bring the head gently to the top of the block. Remember, you're not pressing the head down, but you're using the elbow support and shoulders to hold uh, the head. Another very comfortable modification would probably be the use of a blanket where you bring a blanket or a bolster just under your back and then using the same cues you just you know at your back with an inhale and then with an exhale so that you can bring your head down to the mat you could also try again and by using you know palms under your buttocks and just you know using the strength of the elbows again so that you're able to bring your head down to the mat and then stay there comfortably for five normal breaths. Ideally, we hold this posture for about 30 seconds uh, per round. You're ready now. So let's do the final run for this posture. So come into Shavasana. So in Shavasana, you're lying on your back. Okay. Come into your forearms. And then with an inhale, you lift up. And so that you're able to bring your head to the mat. Now let's bring play into this posture. You want to bring some challenge to it lift your hands up into prayer and then see whether you're able to lift your feet 45 degrees and then using your palms see whether you can point your legs and hold it here this is an ashtanga variation of the fish posture yeah it's a very interesting and very cool challenge to the posture matsyasana then release by bringing the hands down and then release your head gently 
another play you can bring into this posture will probably be the lotus the lotus variation where you cross your legs we talked about this earlier this is a traditional way of doing the fish pose but again lotus may not be available for you so feel free to use the earlier options i gave and then if you're doing lotus once you get the crossing of the legs you can pull your inner thighs up just to feel that engagement so you're using the elbow support shoulder and the neck just to hold your head another option you can try a uh, fish pose with eagle arms so you know cross your right hand under your right uh, you know right hand under your right uh, left hand and then you can do the same thing with the legs and then see whether you're able to do fish pose with eagle arms it's perfectly fine you know you can just bring a lot of play into this posture or better yet how about you try this is very popular on instagram i call it the instagram variation yeah you'll see a lot of pictures on fish pose in this kind of uh, posture see what works for you and enjoy the posture namaste thank you very much